Hey everyone, it's just me Donna and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we'll be talking about the hiring process that I've gone through under Bison Management Corporation when I applied for a teaching position in Japan. So it was actually way back 2018 when I applied and just a disclaimer, I don't know if they still have the same hiring process but if they do, I hope this video helps someone out there. So, Bison Management Corporation is found at BMH Center 3963-1205 Yage Street, Makati, Metro Manila. And I found the job offer at workabroad.ph. And you don't worry, um, Bison Management Corporation is a POEA accredited agents. I applied on the 25th of May 2018 by email. I sent my resume to Bison Management Corporation's email address and on the same day I received a response saying that I was invited to an initial interview, screening, and orientation on the 29th of May. So I went there and then the first thing that they let me do is to uh, fill out a form and then after that they took a photo of me and also made a record <laughs> I think they are making profile of each applicant going there so uh, by the way don't forget to get an ID picture I guess I passed a 2 by 2 ID before and then Afterwards, we had a very short orientation and that orientation was really mind-blowing because they told us that we were like the first batch to have the placement fee of of around 1 100,000 pesos. So, um the batch before us didn't have any placement fee at all, but um the management said that there were a lot of, of teachers whom they they deployed before who didn't conti continue the contract so it was just like the corporation's loss so to prevent those incidents to happen again they would want the the next teachers or the newly hired teachers to play placement fee yes <laughs> and after that we had an examination i would suggest you or advise you to review your grammar spelling vocabulary and you will also have a short essay test and then after that we had the initial interview they asked me about basic information about myself educational attainment person who referred me i think it would be a bonus point if there is someone whom you already know working in Japan under Bison Management too. But nonetheless, I think it wouldn't matter so long as you are skillful and they've seen uh, a desirable quality <laughs> from you. And then your work experiences, especially dealing with kids. So if you have experiences, um, teaching toddlers or whatnot, I bet you have to highlight those ones. And you, of course, your motivation in going to Japan. So they would ask you why do you want to go there, why in all the places would you like to be in Japan, what made you want to go there, and many more. And then, there, that ends the first day of my application. And then after, after two days, Yes, after two days, I received an email saying that I passed the initial screening and they would like me to go back and have a demo teaching. But that part didn't happen. I didn't go to uh, the second screening. That was supposed to be January 1st, 2018. I didn't go because... I already had an offer going to Kazakhstan, so if you haven't watched my previous videos, I uploaded videos of my experiences in Kazakhstan. Yes, and I felt so tired going back and forth from from 
La Trinidad, Benguet to Manila, and then going back here and then going there again. It was really tiring. And I told myself, whatever comes first, I'll just grab it. So the Kazakhstan offer went first. It came first. So I just grabbed that opportunity. Although a piece of my heart really wanted to go to Japan. And then there. So fast forward, after one year, I went back here to the Philippines. And on September 24, 2019, I asked Bison Management Corporation again if they could entertain my application. And they were so nice. They told me that I wouldn't have to go through the, the initial screening orientation and the interview. I'll just go to the demo teaching right away and then i was so glad to hear that so they just liked me to prepare the requirements they asked when i first applied and those were a lot <laughs> so number one is updated resume amity application for employment so when you go to Japan, the corporation which you will be working under is called Amity Corporation. And then number three, visa information form. Number four, cover letter. Number five, lesson plan. Number six, uh, song plan. Number seven, passport. Number eight, diploma. Number nine, transcript of records. 10 essay, 11 recommendation letter, and last one, POEA information sheet. Those ones. <laughs> and they invited me for another interview in 2019, December. But then I didn't go because I, at the time, I was also applying in jet program japan exchange and teaching program and i said to myself i'll just focus to only one and i focused in my application in jet and yay luckily i passed so all the way everything was really worth it so um to cut everything short i didn't push through my application in bison but to give you an idea that was what happened and here are the pros and cons that i find in the application that i've gone through bison so one pros is that they're very approachable um they really accommodate you and there was no email there was no email I sent that they didn't reply so they replied all of my queries all my requests and even my questions so imagine um, imagine after like a year they still they still entertain me so number two pros is they give chances so after a year after I've I've come back from Kazakhstan they still they still gave me a chance to go to the second screening test but again I didn't go and well here are the cons that I find number one it's really a tedious process because um, my friend is already in Japan and she said that she has three like three us uh, yeah she has gone through three steps first one the initial interview screening and orientation second one is the demo teaching to the management and then the third one is the a uh, demo teaching to the to the employers themselves and um, second con is the placement fee of 100,000 I, I believe I quote that as 100 to 120,000 pesos. It was just so sad. My friend who was already there in Japan under Bison Management, she was one of the, the teachers who were deployed in Japan who didn't have to pay the placement fee. So that's it. I hope you subscribe to my channel <laughs> i still upload videos about talk number five an online tutorial company travel videos especially here in the cordilleras 
uh, soon travel vlogs in Japan and of course I will start uh, talking about the work or the jobs I've had in the past. So till the next time, bye!